What was it like to, uh, to come back to Oxford and coach against Ole Miss? Ooh, that's a tough question. <laughs> uh, I was glad to be back here at the university, glad to be back in the state of Mississippi, uh, glad to bring my team here to compete. Uh, it was, uh, until probably the last 12 minutes, it was a pretty focused week. Uh, but then uh, I'm just thankful and grateful. Uh, this university has meant a ton to me and people here. It's great to see everyone back uh, as I got back here. And, a lot of familiar faces, and I'm thankful for the hospitality, but I didn't expect anything different you know, this Ole Miss. What happened with the technicals, Rod? Can you tell us a little bit about the exchange <laughs> and about, uh, well, I mean, you know, more or less about what you were unhappy with? Well, first of all, I was unhappy because I thought there were several plays that were bang-bang plays throughout the game, and we never got the call. Uh, I thought there were several times that uh, during the during the game that one play was different than the other play. And uh, they would drive and we would get a foul. And it seemed like the same play would happen. But uh, there was no intention on my part to get thrown out of the game. Uh, I thought the whistle was extremely quick, the second whistle. Uh, I probably deserved the first whistle uh, just because of actions on the side. Uh, but also uh, in that, uh, I, I represent Cal State University Bakersfield. We're not taking a back seat to anyone. Even though this is my alma mater, I'm, I'm carrying guys to the floor with the expectation of winning. And uh, anyone starts to uh, not uh, respect us in that way, uh, I have to step up and defend our guys. Again, there was never a curse word. I didn't demean a referee. I've never had a call ever in 30 years that I've ever called the officials. Uh, a name, a curse word, uh, indicating anything, uh, insinuating anything, but for professionalism. Uh, it's disappointing that this happened uh, at the university that I played with, uh, that something like that would happen uh, so quickly. Uh, if there had been another play and I had to continue, uh, we didn't even get a chance to get into another series. So uh, again, I'm not in the SEC anymore, so I don't know who the supervisor official is, so I won't be calling them anything. Uh, but again, uh, I'm just not going to take it. Do you remember how many times as Ole Miss coach that you were ejected? I don't uh, One. One? At Alabama. Yeah. yeah. But I deserved to be thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, was not, it wasn't intentional either, but I, I deserved Again, not that I cursed. It, you know, it's, it's just, it was just so interesting to me and disappointing, as I said in the back. I know coaches curse and use profanity. And I didn't know they demean referees. And I didn't do that. And to get thrown out of the game, uh, especially in a, in a moment like this, first time back, for that to happen is, is disappointing. Uh, but that don't take anything from the game, of their team. I'm thankful to Coach Kermit that he would uh, you know, invite me back and, and, and the hospitality at the university. Again, it's, it's what I expected. Uh, I'm just disappointed that it would the game would go that way, but I'm not so disappointed that I wouldn't do it again. When we go into a fight and a battle, uh, I'm fighting for our guys and for our university and for our city. Ole Miss basketball has changed a lot, Rod, since you were here. What, what are your impressions on this place and just how much basketball has grown? You're a big part of it. Well, I, you know, first of all, I, I think you have a great coach. Uh, I'm excited that Coach Davis is in charge. Uh, I think the commitment that the people have made here to the Men's basketball is, is wonderful. Uh, I, I would hope uh, we played a small part in that. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to be across the country and, and uh, seeing that whether it's recruits and coaches show respect to what this university and for is the, the athletic department and what the supporters and the fans have done here. So I'm proud uh, old Miss Rowe. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, people ask me, you know, what if this and what if that? Uh, everything has a time and place. Uh, it was time for the university to step up for men's basketball, and they've done an unbelievable job uh, of making a commitment to the men's basketball program. And if I play any part in that, uh, man, I'm, I'm thankful to do that. But I'm, I'm proud of the university and proud of the coaches, proud of the program. And I'm actually rooting uh, only when y'all don't play uh, the road runners. You, you got my full support. Did you run over to Tad Pad for some sentimentality? <laughs> I just looked over there, uh, you know, I had a couple of jokes with John Stroud about early morning practices and no heat and 
long nights, uh, hoping that it doesn't rain, so <laughs> Florida leak. But that was all in, in joking with each other. Brock, talk about.